Wow, it's nice to already have people in the room. Hey guys, welcome. So today is Monday. This is a 10 year old lipstick and this is just Paul. So I am honestly, I would say that I'm pushing myself to do this project. At the same time, I volunteered myself. I really like this project, but it is probably one of the most daunting because, as I explained before, I know how much work goes into this project and how much time it's going to take that I can rarely find. Anyways, I'm listening to the killers right now in my ear as I'm talking to you. Please put on your own soundtrack because when I play a stock soundtrack, one, it's a stock soundtrack. It's not like our greatest hits. And um, and it, it sounds like crap coming through, the, at least on the recording. So I assume it doesn't sound great for you either. So whatever's floating your boat as far as background music, please, because the silence would kill us both sometimes. Uh as for, okay, wait, I'm, I I probably have so many stories to talk about just to catch up. I've missed you guys. Um, I was actually supposed to, to stream last week and I didn't. That's it. That's, <laughs> I didn't even put out a warning, but you know, whatever. Um, I'm sure again, uh, it, it really is whoever's, who have, whoever is out there bored on a Monday night, come join me. We're going to do a little bit of painting tonight and uh, let me, oh, let's, let's, so everybody uh, sound in on the uh, chat there, you know, how you're feeling, what you're doing, what you're, what you're drinking, smoking or eating. Um, I've got my coffee as usual and I, <laughs> my liquid snacks as I always call them. And I've got. A sparkling ice. Really, these are the classics. These are these are what we always drink. Hello, so hello, Red Simones. Hello, Spooky Boo. Welcome, welcome to the party. Um, get cozy. Put on your own soundtrack. First, before we we start the big art project, though, I have to get your opinion on something. What do we think of this hat? <laughs> I. I just kind of threw it together over the past day that I've had it. I put a bunch of these studs in and then I'm like, it needs something else. So I put the most like, okay, does this look punk rock slash goth or does it look like kid kindergarten level of adult clothing? Like, like idea of like, what hip fashion looks like. I don't know. I don't know if I'm kidding myself. Would I walk around town with this? Cause I intend to, that's what I bought it for. <laughs> Cause I wear hats all the time to, ke to keep the California sun off my face. I don't know what I think. I, I was thinking of like, if I really didn't like the rose once it dried, which is it's dry. Then I could just kind of like paint it black, which would be really annoying because I'm just painting right back over what I did. And, and, and in a way that you could actually see still kind of reflection of the rose and everything because the black paint will not be the same as the black hat unless I painted the whole hat black. Oh. That's a lot of paint. Do you like it? Rhett goes, where else can we lie in bed on a Monday night in our jammies watching incredibly talented, beautiful blonde movie star? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Red Simones, for that um, that wonderful description. Th I wish that everybody felt that way about, about where, where they are in this point, in this time and space. Um, let's see. So, oh, Rhett, you have a sore throat. Yeah, it's a hard metal look. Well, does it look metal? Does it look metal or am I just kidding myself? Like, would an actual, like, metal head wear this? Like, I feel like it's a parody of a, like, it's, what was that one artist shirt 
company called Hardy. Hardy is the last name Hardy. I don't remember. I don't know. I think the rose is too much. Anyways, I'm going to, I'll continue to think about it. You guys can give me your opinions on the hat and the thorns. And I, we're going to start this painting. Here we go. Talk to you a little bit about what's going on here. All right. So I'm, I'm kind of like zoomed in right now because, I, oh, wait, let me do this. So you can really get in there. There you go. Because um, something I was explaining that last week, uh, one of the best things to do is if you're, if you want to like make anything that's um, looks pretty hard, you just pre style. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. So whenever you want to do something really detailed, really uh, like basically very uh, realistic looking as realistic as you can get it. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. To zoom that in. Okay. When you get close up, especially this is this is has to do with digital painting, though I'm sure you could do it to a real painting. You just like literally get your nose up to the canvas, but you no, stop, 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 stop. It's getting away from me. Stop. <laughs> uh stop, stop, please. You're embarrassing me. See, when I turn the uh the screen capture on. And, and try to work in Photoshop on this gigantic file. Sometimes it's a little unruly. It's doing things I don't want it to. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. All right. For God's sakes. So this sweater is actually very, um, very important. <laughs> like, I wore this same sweater in, not Gal, uh, this is Galatea. I wore the same sweater in A Funny Man. And we liked it so much, we use it twice. And so what I'm going to try to do is like really try to mimic the pattern and texture. Honestly, you're not going to get to see a whole lot of this as we see the trace kind of cuts it off there. So I'm going to try to, God, there's nothing over there, is there? I kind of almost want to make up this pattern. This pattern doesn't stretch all the way over there. Am I going to make up a pattern? where it's not. Why not? Why not? Why not? We say we've got the time. <laughs> I do. I don't, but this is, this is what's stressful about this project. Like when I used to have fun projects like this, I would just be doing it for myself. But even if I was like only doing it for myself, I don't have the time to, uh, to, to paint for fun anymore. <laughs> It's like, let's get this done before we go do all of our other adult obligations. Oh my God. Speaking of an adult obligation. Okay. Hi, Val. Welcome to the party. I, before we go any deeper into this painting, which is barely started, I'm going to show you my, um, my most recent adult purchase besides this hat. <laughs> Uh, my most recent adult purchase cost me a hundred dollars and I don't ever spend like over a hundred dollars on any one item. I mean, it has to be pretty important for me to do something like that, but there's this, there was this home good that I've been eyeing up for months now and <laughs> looking at it, um, it's, it's, you know, it's a utility. It's important. I, I need something like this, but to shell out, like, I don't know, a hundred bucks for like practically a decoration to be completely honest. I'll show you. Okay. This is my hundred dollar purchase. <laughs> it's an R2D2. <laughs> he doesn't say much. No, it is a hundred dollar vintage trash can. Not actually vintage, not actually vintage. Uh, bought it new. But this is what it looks like. I've got like a chrome and red garbage can. Now, 
was very interesting about this garbage can that I didn't like completely comprehend, but it's kind of amazing. It's very cool. Um, <laughs> it doesn't have a bottom. <laughs> You're like, Jessica, I think you've been scammed. I think you've been scammed again. Yeah, it doesn't have a bottom, okay? I don't know if anybody has a trash can like this. Now, but it comes with, they call it a, what do they call it on the website? A filter? That's not right. A liner, a liner, okay? And so you basically, here, I can demonstrate right here. You just, it's, uh, it's, a, it's quite a bit bigger than the fit than the, this. Yeah. And you just put it on, you just sit it there. And then when you want to take your trash out, you take this, you just lift this entire thing and then you can have a bag in here, which I do. I, I almost bought it. Like it was perfect sizing. Like I have all these paper bags from. Amazon fresh. And I don't know what to do with them. I know I could use them though. And so you'd say, well, like, but wouldn't all the trash kind of fall around this skinnier, um, like, what do you call it? Liner. But no, it has kind of a rim inside where it, it, it directs everything right into that shape and size. So you really can't, you really can't go wrong. I can even kind of like line that, that, paper bag up to make it perfect and that's my um that's my recent hundred dollar home to purchase what do you think is it worth it hey interactus vote in the vote in the chat was this worth a hundred dollars <laughs> i could have if i if i shelled out another hundred dollars then i could get um a kick boy this is called a push boy and, and honestly, it's part of the reason that it says push. Like I, when I saw the kick boy, I'm like, I should have got that one. It's, it's better. Cause you don't have to touch the lid, but I like, I like that it says push. Like as if you'd be at an old McDonald's. Like, I think it's so funny and cute. Is this, is it, is it merited how much money I spent on this? There's this box. It was gigantic. I don't know where to put it. Can fit that many much much more in my closet. Anyways, back to the painting. That's that's my little secret. You can see if my if my chair isn't pushed in, you can see it from the door when you walk in, and it's pretty aesthetic. Like it matches my room so well. <laughs> Everything just red and maroon and wine colored. <laughs> okay interactive says nice garbage can hi jose pimienta val this better be a trash compactor type it's not it's barely a trash can <laughs> it doesn't have a bottom <laughs> hello danielle welcome welcome everybody it's a nice red color garbage. I mean, it is like, you can't get a color better than that. Like, can you? It's beautiful. Okay. Back to the painting. Keep me on task guys. Okay. Oh, you can't even see my reference here. There you go. There we go. That actually is helpful. Okay. Nope. Nope. Stop embarrassing me. Okay. So I'm going to try to dip it and just kind of find all the details that I can see and that I can't. I'm like, I, I kept saying to myself, this is a, a dicking around section, but it's really not. I'm really trying to find. It looks so dark on, on your monitor. Hmm. I don't know why. Cause it looks exactly the same almost see this is why the monitor helps like you guys actually help me to see 
you know, from a distance, kind of like how it's looking. That's what I'm doing. I'm like looking at my actual drawing and then looking in the monitor to see how it looks kind of shrunk so I can see the bigger picture, you know? Okay, now I'm going to start to add these shapes. And I guess, like, because I want to take these shapes and kind of put them over here because this part is basically just completely blocked out, like what should actually be there. But I like the pattern and I want to kind of like represent it. So I'm going to make it up as we do. Let's just see if I can pull it off because this involves a little bit of like mental math, I feel. <sighs> May, how should I do this? I'll start with a burn tool. Hello, Jack. Hey, got another illustrator in the room. Thanks for joining us. Jack is great at basically any famous character you can think of. He does this cute, I, I think it's cute. Uh, they're cute. They're, uh, they're vector. Um, they're, they're right up my alley. They're so aesthetic. Um, characters of like your favorite superhero. So many people. Jack, you've done so. Jack. Can you tell me, can you actually, like, pick if you have a favorite character of yours? What tablet am I using? I'm using a Wacom something or other. Bamboo. A bamboo, but what model? I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a Wacom bamboo. I don't know if they have different names because this definitely didn't look like my old bamboo. <laughs> I don't know how to separate them. I had a tiny bamboo. It was like a starter bamboo. It came with Photoshop software that I had to buy. When it was still back on a disc, I got a free Waco. Wait, is that how that worked? Yeah, something like that. Okay, that doesn't look right. That one I feel is a little, the what? You have an iPad Pro on the way. Whoa. Yeah. Tell me your favorite. You've been doing this. How, how many years you've been doing? You've been illustrating, Jack. I just, I've taken so much time off from such. Harley, I've seen. Have you, do you do Harley often? Like, do you do, have many different versions of her? I'm sure. Sure you do, right? What what um character did I, did I like to kind of do over and over again? I've done Jack Sparrow a couple times. Done the Harry Potter kids quite a lot. <laughs> I was part of that deviant art generation. For sure. Professionally about the same year we did those NDC shows together. NDC. I don't know what that stands for. Night, night, night gallery. No. Was that, wait, what is, I don't know what that stands for. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. But anyways, so I got hit by a car this week. <laughs> you know, getting hit by a car. Oh, the, co okay, the comics and collectibles got it. I, I knew it was called something like that. <laughs> New Dimension Comics got it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jack. I was like, ah, oh, I know that sounds familiar. Um, right in the, in the bottom of the, uh, what do you call it? The mall. Anyways. So yeah, I got hit by a car. Um, kind of, let me tell you guys the story. I was like, I was very hesitant to actually post about it because whenever you say you're getting, you, you, you're getting like, you've gotten hit by a car. It, uh, it merits a lot of attention, and I did not get injured. Spoiler alert. It was just really stupid. <laughs> it was so stupid. 
<laughs> so let me, I have to make sure that I'm painting while I'm talking, not just, uh, because this is what we're here for. This is what I need to do tonight. Um, anyways, so I've told this story a couple times already, I guess, to my friends. So I'll tell it to you guys. So I'm walking across the street, as I always do. God, I don't know. I don't think this is... <sighs> okay, I know. I'm, I'm just, I just need to do it vertically like this is. Like it would be vertical. Yeah, okay. Like what? Uh, dicking around. This is what we call dicking around. <laughs> okay, anyways. So, got hit by a car. Let me explain. So I'm walking along. I am I am drinking a nice coffee, walking across a, a street uh that I all I'm always crossing. It's I I I have a lot of like there's a lot of major highways even in like neighborhoods of Los Angeles, there's just like some really wide streets sometimes. And I walk all around my neighborhood for groceries, for errands and stuff like that. And so I'm walking with a nice coffee and I'm going through a crosswalk on my I, on my signal, like we have very clear walking signs. Um, and so I'm halfway through, okay, paint Jessica paint. I am halfway through this crosswalk the, to the degree where like, even after this interaction happened, I was looking at the signal and it just had started counting down. Like I still had like a, quite a few more seconds after I got hit by this car, this girl, uh, she was from a stop position, which is why I didn't get hurt. And she just starts towing the gas. But again, right. She like, kind of like to my memory, she kind of starts as I'm practically walking through the middle of her car. And again, it's slow. She's about to turn and she is not looking out of her windshield for the ridiculous amount of seconds that makes me spill my coffee, get pushed a couple feet kind of like down the street before she finally looks out her windshield and sees that there's a girl on her hood. And so as soon as, so basically by the time she realized and gets her foot on the gas, I'm on the other side of her car. I have crossed in front of her car and I just burst out, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I just had to ask the question. I had to know. It just came out of me. It just burst out of me. And she she looks at the front of her car. She looks at me. She right away is saying, like, overlapping me. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. And she's, and we've, we're, you know, we're saying those things at the same time. And she looks down. And she goes, <laughs> Do you want me to buy you another coffee? And like, this is the thing. This is the thing. From her point of view, again, the amount of seconds that she was not looking out of her windshield, she didn't understand at what point she actually hit me. I think that she thought that like right when she looked, she tapped me and made me scared. Oh my God. Thank you, William Stoneburner. <laughs> Thank you. This is going to, um, this is going to, uh, uh, a women's, uh, I don't remember exactly what it's called. You can look at it down in the, in the description, what charity it's going to, but, uh, cars. Okay. Wait a minute. Good to see you're still rocking. Hope to be free in February from the Texas leg. <laughs> chest ball can't stop cars can't stop me door oh my god i love that so much cars can't stop me wow that's beautiful thank you so so much william stoneburner a little stuffy i don't know cold or covid whatever one or the other um i feel like omicron is gonna pretty much get us all if we haven't been gone already anyways so in the situation that I was in with this, um, with this car and this woman, she's like wearing like yoga pants. She was just like a yoga outfit. She was just at the gym, not looking out of her windshield. She was looking at the other, she was looking the other way to make sure that she wasn't going to hit another incoming car. She did not, she did not check though 
a possible incoming girl. Yeah. So, anyways. She... <laughs> she... She offered to pay for a coffee. But I just wanted to get out of there so badly. Like... I, again, I wasn't hurt. I was shocked. I was like shocked to be like basically pushed by a, like an almost moving car. Cause I, in the moment did not know if or when she was actually going to stop towing the gas. So I, yeah. So anyways, um, make sure I'm seeing all the chats. Uh, I, I, try, I basically legged it out of there when I obviously, like, almost as soon as I was, like, started to walk down the street, I immediately thought, Jessica, why did you not get that girl's information, even though you think you're okay? Like, what, what was going through my mind was like, oh, my God, some people, they'll get hit, and they'll be in shock, and they won't feel it, and then, like, minutes, days later they start to bleed internally or something like that. But I think I've passed uh, the mark where it, it might be dangerous. And I think that I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I'm pretty sure I'm okay. Again, really no impact, just uh impact on my peace of mind. At that point, like, you know, we've been getting so many emails from the government about signing up for health insurance if you don't already have any. And I, I'm like, maybe I should. <laughs> that might be a smart idea. Go get yourself some health insurance, Jessica. Uh, but yeah, this project that I'm doing right now, I have been very hesitant. I, I was on set this week and I talked to an actor and he was asking me, uh, do, do you ever have this problem? Cause we were talking about being creative and being artists. Cause he was an artist too. And he goes, do you ever have the problem where you're, you're scared to start something? Um, that's, I guess that was the question for the most part. Like you were like, you know, you're, you're so hesitant to actually start an idea. Okay. Let's start painting this color here. Um, you're so hesitant to start something because, uh, I guess you're afraid of how hard it's going to be. And so I was thinking about what he was saying. And I said, you know, I don't usually have that problem because for quite a few like crafts that I was interested in trying, I was so naive to how hard that they were that by the time I started it, I needed to like kind of figure it out at least a little bit, like kind of like this project. Like if I don't finish this at this point, which I already can see like how many hours this takes and I really do not have any in the bank to give out. Like my time anymore has become like it, you know, when, when momentum is going, you don't necessarily want to stop it. Um, okay. Let's see. Not that mark. Yeah, you don't necessarily want to get in the way of a good momentum, but then you don't know how to say no or how to stop or what time you have for um, passion projects, which is sad, but kind of a reality. Like the movie Enough was a passion project. And then just this little kind of like side hustle, this little like idea that I want. It's not even necessary. Like... We don't, we are like, we don't need this poster, but I really wanted to see what it would look like, but I have to do all the work to get there. So, okay, let me, let's stop complaining about the project as I'm doing it. Honestly, when I do get to sit down here, it's very relaxing. Um, and it's, it can be very therapeutic. Um, am I completely comfortable with how fast it's always going no what am i doing okay that's not how it goes jessica stop it doesn't go in that direction it goes vertical now really this isn't even like the right why isn't that the right angle the correct angle it's like bothering me yeah I really do want to get this as close as possible. I 
it's just a bit yeah like more like that oh that's not even there damn jeez whatever <laughs> Okay, let's not worry about that too much more. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, let's get this shape down here on the road. Then we'll add the texture. Then we'll move on to another part of Kim's face. I decided that I wanted to just work on Kim today a little bit. Uh, one person, like, this is this is one thing about this project. When I started this project... I was only thinking one figure because I had that photo of me and I thought of just kind of even doing a painting. I didn't even really know to even say like, oh, this is a poster or this is a DVD cover. I really just kind of like liked the picture that was taken of me. Uh, I mean, I could sh I, I've showed it on the first episode of this. Um, but then I thought like, if we want to do anything with this, which we would because I'm going to spend a lot of time on it. Um, it should have the actual protagonist of the movie in it, which is not necessarily me, kind of me. I don't know really at this point, but, um, it's, uh, it's our actor, um, who plays Jesse Russell and he needs, yes, he needs to be in the, in the picture. So in order to do this right, or like, you know, make it usable at all, we need some kind of other concept besides just one person. And then I'm like, oh, God damn it. Guess I'm drawing this. Guess I'm doing this poster. With what time? I don't know. But I'll find it. <laughs> it's, it's honestly, it's sad that I haven't drawn in such a long time. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to like copy the shapes that we see kind of down here. Make the little outlines. I hope I'm kind of like going way darker, but I think I can kind of even that out later. If I just kind of keep it same Z's. Just need kind of like the idea of it. Doesn't have to be that specific. It's like an it's like one of those S's that you used to draw in, in high school. And. If you're coming here for an expert at this kind of painting, that is not, that is not, I, I have done just like a handful of digital paintings, Photoshop paintings, whatever you want to call them in my life. Okay. That's way off, but I think I can fix that. That's embarrassing how off that is actually. I mean, I, I don't mind if this does end up looking uncanny valley and like there's, it's like not 100% realistic. I, I'm okay with that. A kind of to a degree. I really want it. I want it. I want it realistic, but I want it glossy. Um, we can look at some references in a little while to again, get a better idea if you haven't been here on the, on the journey. But anyways, Jack is saying. I'm pretty much walking into uncharted territory with my projects over the next six months. Are you Jack? What's going on? Artist to artist? Like what, what are you dealing with over there? I mean, guys, happy new year. Hello. Like we are definitely kind of going into a new chapter of all of our lives. Aren't we? You know, um, tell me in the comments, like what, well, first of all, first of all, okay. First prompt. Give me a highlight. Hello. Hello. Give me a highlight of 2021. Something good that happened. And something that like doesn't make you want to kill yourself that the, the whole year didn't matter or anything like that. Something of lifting. Honestly, this was a pretty good year for me, this past one. I hope that they get better. But uh okay, let's but um I got my first national commercial. I uh didn't die from COVID or a car. That's pretty nice. 
And now we're in 2022. I don't hate that. I don't hate it, guys. So give me one of your highlights. And also, like, what are you listening to these days? <laughs> I'm asking you too many things at once. Right now, I'm listening to... Envy on the Coast. Is that... Okay, that, that might be almost all I need. Like, I'm going to make one look more little. I'm going to make this little guy, this little braid. So kind of just a smaller version. Okay, that. Right. Okay, I need this color. I'm like, what color do I do I want to use? Just free hand in here, just spitballing. Nope. Oh, I love the I love the Apple Z. Like one thing that real paintings do not have is Apple Z. Oh, when was the last time I did a real painting? That might be, hey, hey, that might be the next live. Y'all do a real painting. Like, just like something aesthetic, something like probably the human figure, because I just, that's what I would always do. Okay, I need to close this up, I think. Damn. It's a little off. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, let me, let me, sorry to zoom you guys back in. Honestly, I should probably get even closer. Really get in there with this. I mean, it's pretty close, but when you go big, even closer, come on that sorry it's on my screen not yours what the heck is that where'd that come from why do these candle wicks explode a little bit i don't know what it was doing but it kind of just sh i don't know shot weird stuff everywhere aren't they uh cute mm. that's another thing i did not the same day that i got hit by a car but the next day <laughs> i think now a couple days later I went and I did my autumn walk, which means I walked around my town, found any falling, like, leaf tree, like, fall trees, and just took a bunch of pictures of them. Wow. Like, even getting closer, that shows even more of the details. I can't believe that. Like, all you have to do is, like, go and closer, 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 try to do the best you can with what you're going for. And then pull out and like the detail is just impeccable. It just looks, it looks so beautiful for almost not as much work. No, that's not true. It's as much work, but it's, uh, it's, it works. It's a trick. It, it actually kind of works every time. If you can just pay attention to just these little spots. Of course that it does take forever. It takes forever. Let's see. You guys are chatting over there. Look at that. Jack, you're building and customizing. Happy New Year, guys. Are you going to the bottom and clip it like the photo? Let's see. How oh, no, no. I'm, not, I, I'm actually going to extend it, I think. I didn't get that far. I don't know how far this poster or these characters are actually going. I guess I should take it to the bottom of the page. Okay, so 
Here, I'll show you. Let's put this on. Okay, so this is the mock-up with us characters. And what am I missing? Let's turn these guys off. So yeah, this is like the photoshopping and it does clip off, but I am extending it, I guess. Huh? I guess. Oh, damn. I'm probably gonna have to make some stuff up down there, aren't I? I was just really honing in on the details, but you guys are watching out for me. Should I just leave her arm down kind of straight? So this is here. I'm missing a layer here. That's, uh, I know scary, but that's, <laughs> that's the start on, on this character. I don't, I didn't block in his shirt yet. Um, there's really no, I don't need to until I kind of get on top. Another thing about going detail, detail, detail is to also then I don't know why I took his arm out so much more. Maybe there was nothing there. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, I'm just painting over it a little bit. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So, yeah. Wow, that... Hmm. Now I'm questioning if that looks right. I don't, it doesn't. Because it's straight up and down. Like the front is because it's on the front. But oh, I can do that. I can I can figure that out. Okay. See? Pulling back, getting perspective. Okay. Jack said your boss told me to check out ice. Ice nine kills. I thought you already liked ice nine kills, unless I'm thinking of someone else, another another group, another girl group. Rhett, Rhett Simone says, uh, the same way in location. Yeah, so we're not gonna do the same location. We're gonna do like kind of like this world of these things flying around them and they're looking up at our, our little kind of artifacts, which I have to also paint. Ah, this project. It's a lot. But I am, I do, I am excited about it. I'm going to, I'm going to just um, do our little liquify here. So that it looks like it's bending with my shirt. It's going to take a while because my computer is like, we don't have enough power for this lady. Drink break. My nose is really stuffy. It's annoying. So, what was your favorite present that you got for Christmas? Did I ask that last time? Your favorite present that you ever gave or got? One time I made my ex. <laughs> this is I don't know why this comes to mind, but this was such a creative present. Kind of. Um, I made one of my exes a zombie escape box. I mean, I stole it from offline. Like I've, I definitely saw it. Somebody else do this and copied it and made my own. I think mine was like twice as big. I bought a gigantic shadow box that you would put like a Jersey in and I filled it with an ax and a, or a bait and, or a baseball bat. I think, I think I'm not sure. 
Uh, a Twinkie, which was a reference to Zombieland. I was trying to like reference some famous, famous. Oh yeah, I was gonna. I was thinking like the baseball bat with like the the crown of thorns around it. <laughs> but wait, what is that? What is that called? Barbed wire. But that was. That was much later. That was much later. Um, Negan. I hope I'm not transmi <laughs> transmitting my COVID to the phone. I think if there's any... Cheers, Valerie. I think if there's any safe um, place to meet, it would be here <laughs> on the internet over... Uh, I might have, co who knows? Who knows? I think we all have, we've all like had one of the variations. One flavor of COVID. Or another. Or mo multiple, I hear. At least with the vaccine, I know I'm not going to like. I was going to say make the 27th club, but I'm way past 27. <laughs> I, what, what did I do? So you can't do this with acrylic paint. <laughs> The luxuries of Photoshop. Sorry if I'm burping into the microphone. Probably can't even hear it. ASMR of me swallowing my spit. It's not proper, Jessica. Got a pair of JBL Bluetooth earbuds. Was actually pretty happy with these. Yeah, I um, I love me a good headset. Honestly, it's so valuable to me because I'm constantly listening to music. I'm walking around. Although, can't say it's going to help with like knowing that cars are like coming for me. <laughs> I keep reminding myself though it wasn't my fault. Like I I literally I was literally. It's not even that I wasn't looking. It's that I was in the middle of her car, like in the path that it wouldn't have even mattered if I did. <sighs> cause, cause getting hit by a car is a very Jess Paul thing to do. Despite me not, not having experienced it too much in my life. I really don't even know if that looks correct. I don't really think it does. We've got so much more to do than this, Jessica. Like, you've got other, like, like we're going to actually work on the face, too. We're starting with the face, the eyes. Like, like oh, I'm like, oh, my God, where to go? Oh, no. Um, besides going, zooming in and going detail and then zooming out, also... You start from the most bottom layers. I already made Jesse his own layer. So that even when I do his shirt, it will cover up like and make a very clean line. And if I mess up, it's not a tragedy. The other painting's still underneath. But you could get really ridiculous with some layers. And you could have like 100 layers. That is your decision to make. That is your prerogative. You as an artist will choose as a digital artist, you can choose how you want to work and how you want to conduct yourself. And if it is efficient and it's helping you do your job, then you're not wrong.
I would say to be organized though. Organization really never hurts. It's all about losing something or not. Knowing where everything is at your disposal. Not wasting your time. Not thinking ahead. But that comes with practice. Like once you're doing it for a while and you understand how you best work. Because at the end of the day, it's your time that you're spending doing something. If you take too long... You know, it seems like you don't know what you're doing. I'm really just rambling about (laughs) anybody who has some kind of creative job or wants to be a digital artist. Sharing my thoughts as I think them, I guess. Isn't that what what a live stream is for, though? I'm, st- I'm like doing this, still not knowing if it really looks right, if it's really angled right. I don't think it is, but I don't know how to fix it. Ah, uh, you got to be careful because they're noise canceling. Yeah. Like when she tapped me with her car, I remember thinking, girl, calm your tits. And then she just kept going. Like... I, I did not expect that. Like, I've almost been tapped. But people are lo- are looking out of their windshield enough to see that, you know, there's a person there. It was pretty shocking. Think like that. It's not there, is it? Not really. No. Now I'm digging around. Now I'm like, how does this even go? Looks like it's pretty homogenous here. Hey, let me zoom in. I feel like my other monitor is so small, but I guess you could be watching it on a larger monitor. I am going to be wrapping up this shirt very soon. And then we're going to go to my eyes. Eyes, I don't know, are always the first thing I draw on a face. Anybody else have a preference and why? I feel like the eyes just center everything and they are really the most important part because it's how you read somebody's emotions. So people are usually looking there. Then of course the mouth would be the second most important, I suppose. Again, I'm guessing. Put a little shading there. Okay, let's do some texture. Rhett says you've you've got a lot of uh, serious cleaning to do out of your C drive. You do a lot of writing projects and gets filled to capacity all the time. Yeah, I buy. I just end up buying new drives. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know why I save everything. I do use some of my old videos sometimes. I don't know if it merits all all of the files I keep, but yeah, that that's something that happens. I wonder how many other YouTubers do that. They just save like all of their video files because it's a lot at this point. Okay, I'm gonna like I don't know add a texture here soon. I looks kind of muddy over there, but I'm kind of (laughs) hiding that I don't really know if it makes sense anyways. So I don't know how to fix it. 
Let's do a little bit more bending and liquefying. It's like, I know that it looks wrong, so why can't I figure out how, I mean, I literally have the picture right there, but I was trying to make stuff up. It's like, as soon as I make stuff up, doesn't matter. Oh. Hmm. That looks slightly better. Like slightly make more sense. Man, if you join the stream now, it's like, what are we painting? <laughs> What's that say? <laughs> I don't know. It's just what my sweater looks like. I'm going with it. Okay. I mean, I guess I, guess I should draw this line down a little bit more okay there's jesse's arm that i neglected to put on his layer which is good that i know it's there a bit later to be honest i guess it'd be i don't again i don't know what i'm doing like god when it like i was a portrait girl when i was drawing i was always just drawing portraits of people and like did not give enough time to the anatomical body to the point where I don't I don't know what's going on down there ever it's like can you remember what an arm looks like Jessica like just for memory it's like no I'm sorry I let you down why am I making it so muddy or at least it does it looks like that over there I can see a lot of color here but Let's brighten it up. I mean, it definitely is darker than my actual sweater for sure. Should I do that with an actual lip? Should I? Uh... Thirst. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm lighting, lightening it, lightening it. Eyes are fun, ears are a pain. Ears, like you never look at an ear until you need to draw it. And then you're like, what the frick is this thing? This is the most alien looking body part that we have. Like, how did this come out of our head? Rhett says that has to be a lot of drives. It is. Yikes. See, I kind of broke one of my own rules and I was messing, I was dicking around and I did the hair. But even though that I knew, I knew that the sweater was supposed to come first because you would want to draw the hair on top of the sweater. Like that's that's what you do when you're doing a landscape too. You kind of start, at least this is how I was taught to understand. You would start in the distance and work your way up so that you're literally, you know, not wasting so much time. I mean, you could, you could just do it all together. Sure, 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 sure. But if you are doing it kind of with these really crisp layers, 
um, where they cut, where you're cutting off a, a background layer. It's smart. I'm smart. Okay. What am I doing? Let's just, okay. Well, stop, stop, stop. What am I doing? Okay. First of all, Yeah. And maybe a little bit more. Hmm. Whoa. Feel like it could have more contrast. Am I doing that? Whoa. Yes. My God. Okay, that's too much. Because <laughs> I'm going to be kind of hiding some of this texture. So I'm trying to put it at a place where it's going to be kind of okay. Okay, I think that's as much as I care to do. And now I'm going to go to my brushes... Now I'm going to go to my brushes. Okay, I actually need to, like, you know, press the button. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to find a textile. When I went to school, my professor gave me a bunch of these paintbrushes. And then I found a lot myself. So this is... I don't have a taper brush. Do not have a classic taper brush because I've been too lazy and last minute to find one. But I do have chalk, wood. I wonder what kind of clothing I have. There's hair. Don't really want that right now. Not fractal. That's a little bit different. Skin. Close, but no cigar. Man, how do you find a skin? Wow, it's actually, I think I know what it looks like. It's kind of just, I don't know. Okay. Random textures. But what is it? Just a big blob? That's not helpful. Sorry. Paper. Wait, oh, that's a carpet. Carpet. Dirty car, straw hat, paper towel, straw hat, rust, wallpaper. Okay. Corduroy. <gasps> corduroy. I mean, this is not a corduroy. Why can't I see it? <gasps> I see it. I don't think you can. Okay. Honestly, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this. Whatever I pick here. I don't even know how to make a brush. I mean, I, I get the idea of it. Like, I, I can pretty much guess, but... trying not I'm trying to see all of them but I metal textures and I at some point went through all of these and actually named them what they were they're all different kinds of things and I don't see one for clothing that means, okay, if I didn't have one, that means we're doing skin because it basically, if I'm remembering correctly, is just kind of giving something a grain. Wow. Okay. What the, f whatever that is. What color do I even want? 
Hmm. Carpet might be good. Okay, so this is what it looks like. That's basically the texture we're giving, which is pretty much what I want. I think it's a little too dark. I don't need all of that. Oh, shit. I do. Went back a little too much. Redo. Redo. Let's bring this puppy down to 50. Oops. That's right. We need to color within the lines. I can't, why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so at least it does have a texture. It's pretty damn subtle if I do say so myself. Let me see. I kind of like that. I don't think it's too bad. I mean, ugh, it's not much of anything. <laughs> but, okay. Sweater, let's call it done. I do want to, before I forget, because I know I'll forget to do this, kind of paint a little bit more of that hair over this shape here. I'm going to be like, I'm done. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I didn't want that. I don't want to, I don't want to run into that right now. Okay. So let's just give a, some ends to this hair. Here, I'll, I'll bring you guys in and, and bring myself in again. Like it's only helpful. Hair is my favorite thing. It's so much fun. I don't think we'll get to the other side of her hair, but here's just a little, I'm, I'm going to touch up a little bit some of these, these pieces. No, it does not look 100% realistic. It does still look pretty cartoony, especially at this range. And I think that... Like, as I go about, as I go about this project, because again, this could take like, you know, 40 hours or it could take 80 hours. It depends on how much time I'm actually going to give to it. And because when you keep going in like layer after layer after layer, time, hour after hour, detail after detail, looking closer, spending more time, like it just continues to smooth out and look even more like real life the more again the more time you're just putting into it the more attention that you're giving a piece and um i'm doing a project that it's like not my job and i really just am volunteering this piece and it might like if the the people who are in charge uh, in the end of all this, you know, distributors do not like it, we can't use it. <laughs> but I just wanted to see what this looks like. And if I could kind of like accomplish something that I thought I could do. I've done this a couple times before where I have something in my head and though I don't have a, a whole ton of experience with said thing, like the other famous example that I, I give myself is, uh, I once made this David Bowie costume for my ex and he would dress up as David Bowie. It was, I was that making, I was, I was trying to make it because we got this gig where they wanted two costumes and I thought about like what I could do or like just that I had the basic idea of like how you sew together a costume, like you sew together a shirt. I've dabbled. I never really, you know, seriously 
made a garment before. I've altered things. But I felt like I knew enough to be able to predict, like, at the basic core of it, like, what I would have to do just to make a garment. And I did. It worked out. I just kind of hunkered down and focused on... I feel like it's looking less realistic now that I'm trying to smooth it out, to be honest. That's funny. Things are funny like that. Because I like... As I, as I look up, I like more of, like, the messy layers better. Definitely some more highlights. Just kind of mix up the textures here a little bit because I kind of like that above more. Okay. Pretty much what I wanted to do. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, the hair is so cute. Anyways, what was I saying? Squirrelland, hello. Welcome to the painting sesh. We are moving on to the eyes. Went to get some food. Did I miss anything? Yeah, I mean, we finished. I think we finished the the freaking sweater. It's oh, you guys can't even see it. It's pretty basic and very subtle. Honestly, more subtle than the real thing, which I don't like. Let me just lighten this up a little bit. There's too much shadow. I mean, technically, I think, like, Jesse could be in front of her, but... I don't know. Get my regular brush back. Because we are going to do some eyes. See, no taper brush. I don't understand how that works. Whatever. Like, I, it's like it, it wasn't in this version of Photoshop, and I just never, never thought to get it, or something like that. I'm not really sure. It's like I didn't unlock it. <laughs> what level of Photoshop am I on? <laughs> okay. Let's zoom in, shall we? Weigh in. You too. I could use a snack. What should I eat? Snack. What time is it? Oh my god, it's only seven. <laughs> Great. Let's start there, right? Actually, I can have even more help. Is that right? Uh, oh, oh yes. Okay. Cool. Let me take the skin color. We're going to start drawing in some shadows. I guess I'm going to use the same light source because making stuff up doesn't get me anywhere. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I even have any snacks in this house at the moment. I'm trying to trying to figure out what I'm looking at. I'm going to start 
think I'm going to start putting in my iris so that I understand what I'm looking at there because that is not represented in this picture. So I'm going to give myself like a very chocolate brown. It's a, probably going to be a, a little bit, not lighter, but just more vibrant, more saturated than my actual iris. I think I'm, I think I'm looking in the correct direction that I want to be because I'm looking pretty upwards, but if not, I think it's an easy fix. Cause like, if I'm looking at all them and like this person is looking like in a different direction, fix that. You would think that I would like be, be 100% at like understanding what I'm looking at with the picture right in freaking in front of me. All my, all my line works kind of. Okay. I think that we're going to turn. Yeah. I think we'll, we'll work with this. <laughs> Great. Bring some of this over here. And then, you know, on top of the eyes, is the glasses. We'll do those too. Eventually. See how many hours we have in this night. Let's do a little bit of a red action here. A little bit of a pinky. I can see a little pink in there. Because it's underneath my freaking eyelid. Does anyone ever do self-portraits? Ever any, any anyone out there ever do a self-portrait? I've done quite a few. It was kind of expected of us as in both school and on DeviantArt. <laughs> Man, I got back into art. Like I, I always would draw when I was a child, but I feel like most kids did, so it wasn't that special. But I started getting back into it only when I was like 16 years old and, and we had an elective art class. Like I used to, I used to like have even an art club when I was little in like Catholic school and I, and I would join the art clubs in high school. And so eventually I like became president of the art club and just kind of made it my new identity like I kind of really deep down wanted to be an actor, but I thought that that was not, not really meant to be anything else, but a hobby since it was so such a, I mean, I, I've been naive about a lot of things, but I wasn't naive about how hard it is to make it in such a limited industry, like successful working people. I wonder what the percentage is like amongst other job fields, you know? Because technically it is a job. Hmm. It's too much. Let me put some more hair here. Oh, there's an eyebrow there. Yeah. Okay. Valerie says, um, I did one in high school. Yeah. I'm thinking about giving it another go. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, definitely, you know what it is? It's a time for reflection, not necessarily about your appearance because that's obviously what you're focusing on, but you think a lot about the way you present yourself. That's something that you, you know, are thinking about when you're making a self-portrait and you, you all obviously also think about the style that you want to represent you and what it kind of means to execute it in the way that you're going to execute it. Is that too deep? 
but even beside yourself, you can think about a lot of, you think about a lot when you're just painting and listening to music, like your brain kind of wanders because you're focusing on visuals, things that are very almost mindless in the sense of maybe using like your logical mind, like I'm sure problem solving comes in there, but once you're kind of in a groove, you're kind of just sticking around, as I call it. Valerie says, for someone who is just starting out drawing, would you suggest pre-made drawing prompts or just go with what you want to draw independently? Huh. That's a good question. I never did any drawing prompts. I kind of just drew what I wanted to draw. Stuff that made me happy, which is definitely what I, uh, I recommend. That's like, I, I made a video about, you know, drawing and, and, and making your drawing succeed over itself by just kind of practicing, practicing, practicing. And I took you through my sketchbook and my sketchbook was filled with just celebrities that I liked, you know, um, at the, mo at the moment I was a teenage girl. So I was, I mean, I probably would draw much more interesting people than just like attractive people, um, or people that, I mean, musicians, actors that I admired, whatever. But the thing is, because I was drawing what I wanted, I, I was drawing it and I was constantly getting that practice that you're supposed to have because this hair is going way too far out and I could just like let it go, but I don't want to, cause I do want it to be realistic and I do want it to look right. And then I can tweak it from there. Like as long as I can get it as close as I can. But yeah, um, I, I say uh, draw what you want to draw. And maybe maybe think of it this way. Draw something you wouldn't mind looking at for hours upon end. Like if you're using a reference, of course. If you're not using a reference, then I guess draw whatever your, your little heart desires. Draw with do like start with doodles. Start with the pen just moving on the paper. Does that answer that question? You drew a really good hand ones. Ooh, you framed those accomplishments. I framed a lot of my art when I thought it was hitting a, uh, a milestone, you know? And it kind of reminded me of my journey. Why is this? This particular brush is so weird. It's the eraser. The eraser is like not having it. Does that look more right? It does. It looks way more right. Because the glasses are kind of pushing it in, that piece of hair. Well, not really. It's, oh, it's the hat. It's the hat. Tedious, can you say? Tedious. I, I would love to do a real painting. Like, next time we're on stream, let's do a real painting with acrylic... And not that it would take any faster, but maybe I could be a little bit more free with it because this thing is something that I just really want to do well. You know? What's going on here? Am I starting on the glasses right now? No. No, we're not.
So Interactive says, hmm, guess you do works about, guess you do works about executive of the way work. Rhett says, pencil shading, it's tough to get the shading just right and to show the curve of the eyeball. Tedious. Tedious would be the word. Like you can get it as long as you're kind of like kind of really focusing back and forth and understanding like what you're looking at, what, what why the shape needs to be made, why this line has to go here. Like even if it's not exactly like the picture, it needs to make sense within your painting. It needs to connect. Good night, Interactus. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate everybody who shows up to these things whenever I decide to be online. <laughs> oh, I want to see this really good hand, Valerie. Oh, sounds like you're going to have a lot of janky foxes. Oh, my God. Oh, actually... This is an idea, Valerie, for you. Just draw a different fox every single day. That might sound restrictive and restraining, but what if you played with like different styles or at least if not even different styles, just kind of tried to level up a little like a, like a fraction of a level every day. I drew lots of portraits, <laughs> faces. I did draw some bodies, but honestly, that's only because, like, the bodies were in the pictures, and I never really spent that much time on them, um, unless they were shirtless uh, Abercrombie models, I guess, because I did, I did do that, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, lots of faces until the faces actually started looking kind of realistic, you know, and that's just, that's just how it went. That's how I got better. Hundreds of faces. Hundreds by the time that, that sketchbook was done. Hundreds. What are we going? What are we doing? Okay. Good night, Spooky Boo. The hair has somehow jumped over the eye for me. Where? Oh, I'm like, is that, do we have that much forehead or we don't? What's going on there? Okay, I need to put an eyebrow in there. Just so that I just like block it out so that I know it's there. Come on, guy. Bam. Come on. Don't embarrass me. Just block it in. Okay, that's... <laughs> That's a lot. Well, I was just I was trying to get a hairbrush. That's what I was doing, and that's what I need. Hey there! Thanks for coming to the party. I do really want a snack. 
for dinner. What'd you guys try for dinner? I, I tried to make chicken quesadillas like from scratch. I was trying to mimic this, this chicken actually it didn't have as much cheese as I'm, as I even did like, so it wasn't really similar at all. But it was. It was like a chicken cheese quesadilla that I once, or talk something like that. It was, I think it was called Jalisco. Like chick, like what, Polo Jalisco or something like that. I went, I had it at a ref, restaurant once or twice and just never forgot it. And I've been trying to trying to cre- recreate it ever since. Just every once in a while I'm like, I know how to make that, don't I? Then I don't. Yeah, we don't have any more shadows down this away. Trying not to get on my skin. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Actually, that's why we're doing it in layers. Like, it's how it works. Tedious is the name of the game. Yeah, I'm liking it. It's like coming together. It's little by little, hour by hour. I did I mention I love hair? <laughs> I used to collect just really beautiful illustrations that I'd find online. I mean they're part of some of our of our board. I think most everybody was there when we made the uh, the vision board for this. Okay, get that eyebrow in there. Ah, oh, I never really thought I could make one of these crazy internet posters that I always see. Hopefully it will turn out to be that. And those flames are still going over there. Sometimes it feels like a sin to burn a candle in California. You just like literally burn down a whole part of the state if you're not careful. Okay, I think that eyebrow is established enough. Let's move on to the actual eye. Nope, wrong way. Yes. Okay. I do want, I like some of these little wispies. I want them. Like it's not necessary, but I think that it just adds to Kim. It really does.
I was like trying to make it so perfect that I'm like, wait a minute. No, we don't want it to be perfect. Kim is a human. She's real. She's not some photoshopped animatron. This is like what Hermione Granger was really supposed to look like. <laughs> Fried hair and all. I love how they made Emma Watson look like goofy for one year and then totally copped out. And we're like, we're going to make her look as pretty as she is. Guys, is anybody watching that Harry Potter reunion? I, I'm almost going to like freaking get HBO Max just to freaking see that reunion. Not a plug. Don't have it myself. <laughs> But Harry Potter was my childhood. It's pretty much my life for like the years that it was running. At least some of the, at least the beginning years. Like my personality was Harry Potter. Kind of just want some stray do to do do's. Like kind of just. Given it the, t I really like this actually. Like, I didn't really think about adding all that extra texture, but oh my god, it's what it needs. The real Hermione Granger. <laughs> I love it. I really do. Cool. I'm actually happy about something of this. Okay, you can't, you can't see it that far away. Oh, no, I think it's kind of adorable. All right, let's get to that eye. My God, if at least I can get a good eye done tonight. Like, at the very least, guys. See how many hours just, like, a shirt and half an eye takes and some hair. Ugh. I should stop complaining. Stop it, Jessica. You are here of your own volition of your own idea <laughs> I don't mean here as in live stream I mean here as in doing this project <clears throat> that I know that I don't have time for but I do really appreciate you guys being here to to be with me I really wish that I didn't have any obligations I can just take as much time as I wanted on this that's what I wish so I'm trying to say. All right. Hmm. really create that contrast because that is what's going to make this dynamic I'm making a like a, a lo-fi cartoon girl <laughs> that's what she is kind of but not really Right? Like that. Oh, that's too much. No, thank you. You don't need to make me look like I'm 80. Thanks. Well. 
A fox a day keeps the bird, the boredom away. That's so true. Yeah, Valerie, I want to see that hand. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich, buffalo sauce, potato chips with guacamole salsa. I just bought some freaking guacamole salsa. It's very spicy. Some handfuls of trail mix for dinner. That is the dinner of champions. Dog walking time. All right, Squirrel Land. Have a good time with that pup. See what I'm doing here? You see what I'm trying to do? You see what I'm trying to do? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little bit of a red in there, I think. So we got this color. Let's make it a little bit flush and blush. Just a little. Is that yeah. Breathe some life into my frickin' skin here. This wan pallor. I'm gonna start honing all of these little details. Let me just get that. Let's apple S, because we have not done that almost the whole time. Why didn't you guys remind me? Every once in a while, in the chat, just somebody go Apple S, so I remember to save. Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? Okay, I did move my pupil in that in this drawing because I feel like I could draw a whole lot more white over this way. I'm going to do that. Hopefully it's the right move. I don't know. Maybe just that much. No. Wait. What is... what? Okay. Oh, as the concentration goes up, the talking goes down. And then I forget that I'm just sitting here drawing in front of you guys, which is a thing, right? Is that a genre that people watch? Listen to their own music and just watch someone draw? I'm usually listening to stuff as opposed to watching it. Are there any other stories I can tell you about? I showed you my trash can. I told you about getting hit by a car. Yep. I'm sure it is. There's a genre for everything here. Oh, welcome to the internet. Do, 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 do. I watched I, I watched that like I think yesterday Bo Burnham's inside again just felt it in my bones I think it was the second only the second time I'd watched it these frames are getting eaten up by the underlayer. That's okay, because I was supposed to paint them on top of the final hair, and I did not allow myself to do that. I'm going to have to get something to eat here, like, soon. That looks pretty right, doesn't it? I need to fill out my cheek a little bit more here. Do, 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 do. Okay, we have we've got a shortcut 
menu up here, Jessica. Oh, don't go away. These drifting artboards. See, this is where this comes in handy. I don't know if my cheek, does it come out more or does it go in more? I don't. When I look at you guys, I'm looking at the monitor, see how it looks from a distance. I think, I think a little bit of both needs to happen. I think... This needs to fill out just a bit. And this needs to go in just a bit. Uh. Yeah, is that, is that what uh, was supposed to happen? I think so. I feel like I'm making my cheeks very pointy. It's not correct. I think that's correct. That's just about as correct as I care to get, I think. Okay. Now, I like this like kind of tan, kind of ruby color instead of just like dark. Whoa, where did that come from? Oh, damn it. Now playing beautiful song by Fry and Rap at Get Out. Oh, so pretty. Okay, let's start the art. <laughs> Let's start doing some art. I love doing eyes. They are, I mean, so therapeutic in the way that they look so elegant when they're done. But also... It is like kind of like polishing a ball because you are like, you know, you're taking this eyeball and you're trying to find the light source. You're trying to match it. That line is way too hard. What are we doing there? Frighten rabbit. Yeah, what kind of dog do you have? Squirrel land? William says, I'm sure it is. Oh, yeah. Where's that one? <laughs> yeah, Frightened Rabbit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Just now, like, kind of smooth it out and adding depth. We'll eventually add those eyelashes. It's really dark in there, at least in this reference picture. 
I'm just taking my uh, good old burn brush. When I need like a muted gray shade of something, I usually just use the good old burn. Just to, at least honestly, just like give me a guideline. And then I'll kind of finesse it from there. She looks not scared. Not even as scared as in the reference. Why? Because. Oh my God. Why? It has to be your eyes that's making her look like that. I'm trying to understand if it's the pupil or if it's like the shape of the eye. God, thank God for liquefy. Ugh. I'm going to continue to dick around until I figure it out. <laughs> Would the eyelashes help? I do not think so. I look like I'm sleepy in the painting. But I don't in the reference. Wow. I, I really shrunk my nose <laughs> in, the, in the painting. I did not mean to do that. We gave myself a nose job. I think it's kind of that I didn't. See, come on, where? Oh, we're we're in burn still. Let's okay. Let's give myself my nose back. Cause not only my nose, it is the distance from my mouth to my nose, which looks kind of different would make me not look like me. Missing a whole nostril over there. Hello? We missed you at the party. I feel like this comes out even more. Maybe am I going too far? <laughs> you do look at yourself a lot in the self-portrait. Oh, show. You hadn't heard of Frightened Rabbit until I heard the news of... What? what? What was the news about them? I don't know news about them. I saw them, like... Oh... 2017 or 18? But, um... I don't... Did I... Wait, did I... Did I have news about them? Was it... Was it news that I gave about them because I don't remember what that is on Rekt Radio. I don't remember what it is at the moment right now. <laughs> Nostrils are overrated. Oh, God. Who needs them? I say is my own are like stuffed with something. Back in 2018, the lead singer died? I wasn't I wasn't doing any rack radio in 2008 so oh my god the singer that's singing the songs <gasps> wait a minute oh my god the singer that's singing the songs god just man. my god what happened 
Huh, that's sad. That would make me sad to listen to them from now on, but I'm glad I know. Frightened Rabbit Singer Oh no, I see the sentence after his years with depression. Took his own life. Damn, that's the saddest way to go. Dude, that makes it even more poignant to listen to. Oh, that sucks. God, did I see them on, like, their last freaking tour? Man, I didn't even know. I mean, they they might still be together. I, no, I, don't, I have no idea. Did not keep up with that stuff. No, no, no. I'm glad. I mean, I'm glad I know that that brings a lot more significance, honestly, to listening to it. Um, so thank you for that. Because I needed to know. They're on the Chuck soundtrack. That's what I know them from. Oh, I even did them on Rock Band Superlatives, and that's that was what I gave them, the Chuck soundtrack. I didn't even know their singer died. I don't know a joke I could have made about that. <laughs> that wouldn't have been that wouldn't have been nice. All right, this is looking a little bit more like my nose all the time. Oh, and now I'm listening to The Day I Tried to Live by frickin' Chris Cornell. <laughs> I heard, I download this, uh, not download, like I added this song to my playlist. When I heard it on Fear Street, Fear Street. I don't know if the first one's called Fear Street. Uh, it's like colon something. Um, I think it's kind of a, a Goosebumps gig or something like that, isn't it? Something or I don't know. And um, it's on it's on Netflix. You've probably seen it. And the day I tried to live, they played at the end, and that was years. I mean, it was already years after Chris Cornell killed himself. And it was, and they played the song "The Day I Tried to Live." I feel like it's so hyper significant when you would listen to that song, and especially in the context of like they actually licensed it after he died. So that's kind of spooky, like on purpose, right? Like, right? Am I am I making that up? Am I being like incredibly disrespectful and cryptic, and I don't know. Just think about those things sometimes. See, this is a shadow, but I hope that it doesn't look like it's like my freaking laugh lines at 26 years old. Maybe I'll just leave that shadow off. <laughs> we don't need it. Where is my actual laugh line? Or what do you call them? Labial folds? I don't have very prominent ones. Yeah. Don't have those labial folds yet. Not, at least not too bad. <laughs> Am I saying? No, that's not correct. That's not correct. <laughs> that's not correct. I'm thinking of plastic surgery and like what you would call that. But labial folds, I think, would be the vagina. <laughs> right? Am I right? 
nasal nasal labial fold isn't that right nasal i feel like i'm yeah naso labial fold that's a thing jesus christ jessica <laughs> <laughs> Under no skin, upper lip. That would be the no yeah. naso. That naso labial fold is is the actual term for those. God damn it! Wasn't crazy. Good night, Rhett. I missed the goodbye. Or we already did say goodbye. I don't know. Not sure. She looks real tired. Why? I don't know. Let me let me try to open that eye a little bit in uh in Photoshop. <laughs> Wait. What happened? Hello? Knock, knock, knock. Are you going to give me my liquify? Did I even pick liquify? Wait a minute. Oh, it is 8 o'clock. I definitely want to get something to eat. I've had like three tortillas today, though. Okay, last vote. Hat, yes or no? What do we think about the hat? What should we do to it? <laughs> I think I'm going to take a snack break. And then... Am I going to continue to work on this? Maybe I'll continue to work on this a little bit without my... Like, without any kind of other system running so that it doesn't take forever to load something. But this was somewhat productive. We started on, on that phase and... Really did a number to the hair and to the sweater. Like, we got somewhere today. Somewhere. Hopefully by next time, there will be a lot more to look at. And I do eventually want to run it all together and show the, the entire process once this is done. If it, if it gets done. <laughs> And if it looks good. Thank you, William. I accomplished a decent amount. I accomplished something. I accomplished not nothing. Thank you. Thank you for the love of the hats. I'm still on the fence. Still on the fence. What to do? I was, I don't know if I, I don't think I want to introduce color. If I introduce color, it would have to be something weird and not expected like freaking, you know, green vines and red, red rose, I guess. Because I don't want to do something expected. Not like, like, is this expected? Is it too expected? Is my question. I don't know. But you guys have a great night. Eat an extra snack for me. And this is my album.